everybody, welcome back. Falcon Dead State, episode number three. Um, last episode, we kind of took care of most of the outside interference from the Lano commercial area. Remember, we're over here trying to find the parts to fix the fence. And for the most part, it went really well. As a matter of fact, it went really well. I, I used up a little extra bullet there that I really didn't plan to, but that's besides the point. Nobody's taking any damage, and we were able to take these guys out pretty meticulously. So, that's what the important thing here. We left off with the idea of going into this burger bar diner, which we will. There's also here where we have to find our parts, so, you know, we have a few things to do still, as a matter of fact. But for now, we're going to be going into the diner bar here and finding out what's happening in here. I said there was a surprise in here waiting for us, and there is, so... Without further ado, how do we want to do this? Do we just go in through the front door? That might be the best case scenario, huh? Alright, so let me go in through here. Let's pop this door open. Okay. Now... Let's see here. <laughs> I'm going in really slowly because there's some there's a surprise in here waiting for us. And I'm not entirely sure where this guy is. He usually just comes up out of nowhere and just surprises the shit out of you. There it is! Going to battle! Did he spot me first? Oh, we just spot him first! <laughs> so you saw what I did there. What I did is I rushed and I attacked. And what that did is it actually dazed him because he wasn't ready for it just yet. And this is actually a human, it's not even a zombie, this is actually a looter who's almost dead. Cindy is almost dead, so I'm sorry Cindy. Life for you is going to get really hard really soon here. So we just need to get one more attack in here. I'm not, I'm not sure how we were able to attack from a tile away, but hey, there you go. So, let's see if we could go up here first and get this last hit. Please land it. Oh, okay. So now Cindy's going to be able to slash me with her... With her knife there, and what that was was a um, counterattack. There is a chance of counterattacks in the game. I'm not sure what triggers them. I'm not sure if maybe knives have a better chance of a counterattack, but sometimes people will counterattack, sometimes they won't. So, again, I'm not too familiar with that just yet. Now, in order, we just need one hit over here. Can I get over there and get a t an attack off? One, two, three, four, and then the swap. Six? No. So what I'm gonna do is just um. Have you fall back over here for now? Because you can't do much of anything right now. I could probably take a gunshot, but it might actually hit um, Vato Locos, so instead I'm going to hold off on that. Plus, I don't want to make any. I don't want to take any more gunshots. I already wasted two bullets on this map. You might be able to get a shot off here, Renee. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The swap is six, and then you have three left over for an attack. That would actually work. So one, two, three. Four, swap, and attack. Now, mind you, here's the problem. If we don't land this attack with um, Renee, she's going to get diced up pretty bad by Cindy. So, it's risky, I'm aware. But we're going to try it nonetheless here. So, please land this attack. This is for your best interest, Renee. Alrighty, and this is where it gets nasty now. Because we're going to get diced up here a little bit. Oh, shit! Renee counterattacked and got the kill with the counterattack. Now here's something you should consider. When you kill people, they are going to reanimate as zombies. But in order to loot them, you do need to kill them. So, interesting scenario, what do we do? Do we kill this person? It's going to reanimate as a zombie instantly. Is the problem if I'm right. At least that's one of the new features I've noticed. Let me check out this table here meanwhile. We have some silverware, coffee, honey, newspaper, candles, and magazines. Perfect. Grab everything over here. Well, we could, I mean, that person's going to bleed out regardless of which, so we might just take the advantage or the initiative and take care of it now, huh? So how about we do this with Renee? I am going to... Actually, Renee already take a hit, right? Oh, this is so risky. I'm not entirely sure how I want to work this. You know what? I'm going to let this person bleed out, because I think the moment you kill them, they animate instantly and go into battle, so whoever's in front of them is going to actually take the brunt of their first attack. And especially in this enclosed area, I can't even, you know put my troops around him and just kind of beat him up from every side. And we're looking at a front attack, which is, you know, the lowest um, accuracy imaginable. So, I am going to just hold off and hopefully that person just bleeds out. I'm going to use my psychic powers here to open this door from afar. Don't you even worry one bit. And let's see here. Things to loot. We have this little pantry over here. Let's check this out. Some dried beans, bottle of ketchup, box of pasta, and some pork rinds. Perfect. Sounds like a really good meal, honestly. Just beans, some fucking ketchup and some pork rinds. Lock doors can be opened two ways. If you could either lock pick them or you could break them open yourself. 
Um, I prefer to just kind of use um, break and open myself. I rarely ever use the lockpicks whenever I do find them. Sugar and box of cereal. It's kind of like you know makeshift frosted flakes, right? If you just have regular corn flakes and then you have like sugar, just pour it in there and you have like frosted flakes right off the bat. No questions asked. I'm gonna come back to this person later on. I'm hoping that he'll just die by himself, but you know we'll see. Alrighty, so we've done that now. I guess the last place that we need to hit up now is going to be the Lano commercial or the hardware store itself. But before we do that, let's come down over here. Make sure there's no other items that we can loot. I don't think there are, but oh, there's a trash can. Trash cans usually just kind of give you dead animals, which can be used as food, but it also is a morale drop in the base. So for instance, a rat, soon to be known as Apocalypse Chicken. Some people may not want to eat this, but it's better than going hungry. Can be stocked as food, but morale could go down and is perishable. So, you know, there you have it. I'm gonna at least take it for now and hope it doesn't really affect our morale too much. I mean, I never really had issues with morale back when I played the beta version, so... I'm not entirely sure if they've upped the effect, the down effect of, um... Morale now, but, you know, I'll, I'll play it like I played the beta version. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass. Alright, so now we have Delano commercial, so we're not out of the woods just yet. We still need to get our parts here. There is a area to check out over here, and then two over here. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be some zombie resistance as well. So let's not just jump into the hornet's nest just yet. Not that you would do that. I mean, if you jumped into a hornet's nest and you are one hardcore motherfucker, let me tell you. Personally, I would never do that. I I'm scared of every insect imaginable. Let's see, parts, lantern. Lantern, it's just for morale, huh? Okay. And claw hammer, another wrench, seed packets, and a screwdriver. Perfect. Let's grab everything over here. I'm just loading with um, Walter White because he has high strength, so it lets me carry a bit more extra items with him, obviously. But, you know, somebody with Renee is going to be a lower threshold of what items you can carry. Oh, a hatchet. Hearts and a machete. Hmm, the machete is one-handed, range 1, 8 to 20 damage. This is what, 1, 1, 8 to 18. So the machete's a bit better. Noise 4, noise 4, and what about our wrench? 1-1, one, one, 18 to 25. Yeah, I'd rather keep to the pipe wrench if you don't mind. But noise is a bit louder, but that's okay. So let me grab everything over here. I do have that, right? Equipped on... Yeah, okay. Let me check out the shelf over here. Oh, here it goes. A lot more parts, candles, claw hammer, and a screwdriver. Alright, so now we have that. Um, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit, but I know what to expect in here, so... Let me just... Alright, there he is. Do you spot me, my man, or do I have to just rush in here? Alright, we might just rush in here. Which might be our first real amount of damage from a zombie. This worries me significantly. What I'm going to do is do this. Here we go. You, Renee, come over here. Post up, like, right here. And, oh, fuck. I know there's a way to... Here we go toggle individual things to do. So you come over here, and then Joel, you're gonna come and hang out over here. What I want to do is draw the zombie out of that room so we can kind of um, attack him from each side. So let me just have you post up like right there. Renee, you're gonna... this is good for you. And then Vato's gonna be... or not Vato, I'm sorry, I call him Vato because that's what my old main character used to be named. Old Black Eisenberg, you're gonna be our bait over here. So, how you doing, bro? Come on. Come on, just fight me like a zombie. Fight me like a real zombie. Oh! Fuck, he spotted me. <laughs> okay, now all my people are far off, so this is really bad. Luckily, Walter Black Eisenberg was able to push him off, so that was really bad of me. What I was trying to do is just kind of lure him out. And... Normally, when they start coming towards you, it gives you a little bit of chance to run away a little bit, but... I guess he was too close to me that the fact that the moment he spotted me, he, um... Went into full attack mode and it brought us into this um, attack grid over here. What I was trying to do is just lure him out and then have like everybody attack him from each side. So now we're kind of in a tougher spot here. Joel, you're gonna just end your turn. So are you. I'm gonna just take a swing and then move back. That's what I'm planning to do with him. But you know what? Let's actually get a little bit risky here. Let's do a wild swing. Maybe we'll get lucky. Nope. <laughs> I fucking hate the accuracy in this game sometimes. It's like XCOM levels of bad sometimes. Not bad, bad, but like, you know, just RNGs is fucking you up. Alrighty, and let me just move you back over here. And here. So if this zombie comes over here, it's perfect. We have a shot with Joe and Vato 
not <laughs> Black Eisenberg. Stop calling him that, Falcon. He's not the same guy. Alrighty. So, we're gonna go... We could get one attack off with Joe, which is gonna be enough. Alrighty, good. One attack, and then just kind of drop back here. Renee, it's your turn. You could probably get two attacks off of him, right? So we'll come over here. You'll go behind the zombie. And one. And two. Enough for the kill. Perfect. Anything on him? Just smokes. Alrighty, we'll grab those. Oh, by the way, Renee. 10 of 20. Let me put this medical kit in there. That should bid up to 15. And then you have 10 extra. Let's put this up to 20. And let me actually dump the extra ones that you have on Black Eisenberg over here. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All is well. All is well. We already checked this out, right? We did. So now we come in here. This is where the toolbox should be. Or at least in this room. Right here. There it is. Toolbox. So this is where we need to fix the fence. We have a crowbar as well. The crowbar is actually not needed to open doors, but I led myself to believe that the crowbar initially was to open doors in the beta version. You could bash open doors with any weapon. As long as it's melee, I'm going to say. More toilet paper. More sodas. We have a makeshift pike. This is, um, what is this? This is kind of new to me. Two-handed, range one. Oh, come on. It's still only, uh, range one? It's a pike, man. Should be able to get the little reach in there. Alrighty, well, I don't want that then. Crowbar is 12 of 20. And, ooh, a lot of parts. Nice. Alrighty, so we'll grab everything over here. Alrighty, so, that is done with. And we're fine over here. So now we just need to get through this little room, find out what's in here, and then we get the hell out of here. Although, that person's still over there bleeding out, so I'm gonna kind of make a... a decision on that really soon. Ooh, just one... <laughs> Remember that time you... opened a door with only one swing of a wrench? Yeah, Black Eisenberg does. Let's check out what's in the shelf. We have, oh, a sledgehammer, parts, and lockpick. A lot of parts. Oh, you can't carry that much, alrighty. Can I grab the parts at the very least? No. Let me grab the sledgehammer. No, I'm I'm done. I'm absolutely done. It's all good. So let's have um Joe here come and grab the rest of the pieces that um we just acquired right now. Joe, I'm sorry, black eyes and can't carry everything, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do though is um go into this. I like the sledgehammer as a weapon. I like it on Max, particularly. I ended up going with my old main character as a he was using a brush hook. Which actually worked out pretty well. What, what the sledgehammer does, it, it lets you attack diagonally. Which is pretty goddamn cool. So, we might try this out with um, Walter White. Although, if I'm right, it requires a little bit too much AP right now. Because we only have 9 with Walter White, if I'm right. And I think it requires 5 to swing. So, we would need 1 more AP before we could take 2 swings in 1 turn. So, I'll equip it for now, but I'm not going to probably use it too often. So let me drop this crowbar and hatch it in here. Let me get this sledgehammer off of you, my friend. Cool. So let me test this out. Uh, 7 AP. Holy shit, man. This might reduce the more strength you do have, though. Actually, you know what? My basic attack is also 6 now. I think that's... No, no, it's it's 4 AP. Set is active. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I'm not two-handing it. So it's 7 AP with only one hand. But if you two-handed, it is going to be less. Tell me I'm right. Um, I guess I'm wrong. Interesting. Yeah, just 7 AP. Wow. That takes up... I mean, maybe I'm just kind of used to the brush hook. The brush hook used a lot less AP. I know there's a perk that lets you decrease your AP usage, though. So that might come into play later on. Alrighty, well, we're not going to use this for now. Because that would just be only one hit and that's it. I like to usually take two shots. Although... 30 to 52 damage is actually pretty good. It just has to actually land. Alrighty. I guess there's no reason not to have this equipped as a second weapon. And we might get, you know, a little bit daredevilish here and there. So for now, let's just stick to the wrench. But if we feel like we want to slip over to the sledgehammer on the fly, I guess we will. Alright, oh yeah, everybody. Party up now. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so we're done. We are effectively done here. Now, the only thing's left is, um... This person is bleeding out. I'm not sure how I want to play this. It seems like really silly... Oh! it's a, uh, He's up already. Cindy undamaged. Alrighty. So, here we go. 
how I want to play this is going to be... I do have some commands, don't I? Party commands? Uh, I guess you'll use those in battle, though. This is truck inventory. Trunk inventory for a car, which we don't have. Map screen. Toggle part of following, and then... Yeah, this is for party commands, but this is only in battle. I'm going to probably use that to get our... Because remember, we have a command that lets us uh, increase our accuracy hit on zombies, so... Let me see if I can just kind of sneak up here. Boom, we were. Nice. Let me check out this party command, by the way. Go and, and aim for the head. How many APs does this take? None. It really took none? Huh. I'll be damned. Alrighty, well. Is that an increase to accuracy for no AP usage? Maybe. I've never used the party commands before in the entire beta Let's Play that I had, so this is kind of new to me too. But I'm trying to do different things because, you know, I feel like I should at this point know more about the intricacies of the game. So let's go in here and do one attack. Good. Oh, look at that. 100% staring uh, head to head. So yeah, that command actually works pretty nice. I should probably use that more often. Two hits. Perfect. So, not enough for the kill, but badly wounded. Let me just drop back one turn now, or one spot. Ah, oh, fuck. Joel, why are you behind Renee? Alright, let's do... Swap with Renee? I don't think you'll be able to get an attack off, though, are you? Nope. Not gonna happen, my friend. And I'm not gonna take a gunshot at that dude. That seems kind of silly at this point. So, let's just move you here. If this zombie comes after you, then you have an attack up front, and we can kind of circle around it. Essentially, what you want to do is kind of like, don't stick yourself in a corner. That's the best advice I can can give you. So let's just end our turn here with him, and then with Renee. One, two, three, four, five. I can get an attack off and then drop back one. I don't like that though, because I'm gonna, more than likely, take damage. More damage than I already have, so I'm just gonna end my turn here. And he's gonna come after Black Eisenberg, which is fine. Eisenberg should be able to be okay. Perfect. Just push him off, and that's his turn. And boom. Oh, wow. This guy. Or I guess this chick, Cindy. Even as a zombie, she's taking a lot of damage. That's it. And turn. No more zombies in the map. Whether former looters or not. So we have can a mystery can. <laughs> the label's falling off of this can. Don't think of it as a mystery, but it's an adventure. Food for allies. Stocked at the shelter. Screwdriver. And we also got some toilet paper. Alrighty, and that's it. We are effectively done here. So that was a really good mission. We barely took any damage. As a matter of fact, we might even consider going to one of the next maps because it's still kind of daytime and there was minimal damage that we kind of uh, took right there. So, hey, you know what? Let's try it out. Oh, but you know what? Walter White is a little bit stuffed to the kill with items too. Eh, whatever. Let's try it out. So we're going to go into the map. And what do we have here? We have Downtown Splendid. Let's do that shit, man. It's only 10 a.m. after all, so we still have a little bit of time before we have to go back to base. Remember, we have to 3 a.m. after all. So, we'll check this out. We didn't take enough damage that I'm too worried right now. We only took knife swing, 9 HP damage, so... I'm gonna play it a little bit riskier. And try to tackle more areas in one go. Now, what am I expecting to find here is the real question. Alrighty, we have a few places we can loot straight up. Okay, I think this is where the police station's at, right? We could find a lot of good stuff here. Like, a lot of good stuff, but expect a lot of resistance, too, if I remember correctly. Alrighty, we're gonna have to play it really cautious on this one. Because I know what happened here last time when I was here. So, Dumpster's gonna have a rat and some parts. Grab everything over here. And let's see. Let's check out this dumpster. Another rat. It might drop more out, but food is a little bit more useful right now, so we'll grab that. This is locked, and this is also locked. Alrighty, we're gonna go up and around this way. It might be the safest um, run that we can make right now. Alrighty. Ooh. Frames just dropped pretty crazy there, sorry. I've been having issues running the game, even after the full release. Uh, it's pretty sure it's on my end, the game isn't really optimized for my setup, unfortunately. And I would turn off the shadows and stuff, but then it makes the game look even more fucking ugly. <laughs> so I'm gonna just bear with it and just kind of at least make it look slightly presentable. Because, you know, the game isn't really exactly the greatest looking thing out there. Alright, so we have a few places here to loot. We have a magazine. We have a puzzle book. Grab everything over here. We have a produce stand over here. Potato. 
And some rats, all right. Oh, can't carry anymore. All right, so we're pretty much packed to the brim here. We might have to dump some stuff up on Joel here. So let's see, Joel, I'm going to pitch a lot of this shit to you, my friend. So you're going to have to just deal with it. So take that, take the silverware. Take the gasoline as well. You already have some gasoline on you anyway. Candles, um, claw hammers, don't really need those. Don't need the screwdriver, machete, 55 parts. Lots of cereal. Let's give you these parts over here. Oh, he can't carry that much either. So, you know what? Maybe coming here was a bad idea right now. I should have probably gone back to base first. Oh, well. Can't carry that much. All right, Renee, it's up to you. You carry some more of the load over here if you can, my dear. Give you some of these parts, and I think we should be good all right now, right? Yeah, we're looking better. Okay. We'll, we'll handle it this way for now. So, proto stand. Rat and potatoes, grab them. Oh, good. Now, do we need to pop this door open or break it open? No, we just need to pop it open. Oh, might want to check this looted freezer first. And we found some insects. Alrighty, now this one I'm really iffy. This one I never took, I don't think. A handful of edible insects, just think of them as lobsters, only much smaller. Can be stocked at the shelter, but it may drop morale. Perishable. But morale could go down. So I'm not entirely sure if the rats are less of a chance. This one I'm pretty sure it does. Every time I took the insects, it dropped morale instantly. I think the rats have like more of a variable chance to them, so you know what? I'm not going to take the insects again. Now I'm not sure if there's another use for them, but I haven't found it. Now, before we get in here, we got to make sure there's no zombies going to ambush us, and seems relatively clear. Perfect. Alrighty, let's check out the storeroom shelf. Alright, and can't move to the target. What do you mean? It's right there in front of you. Where'd you go? This guy just fucking phased out of existence there for a second. Grab everything over here. Perfect. And we have one more freezer to check out. Another rat and some jam. I thought that was a salsa can there for a second. I was going to be like, dude, salsa? We're good. All we got to do is find some chips and we're done. We can survive the apocalypse. Salsa and chips, that's all you need. Oh, we have a little candy machine over here, too. Candy bar. That would make sense. Technically, you normally find candy in candy machines. Speaking of candy and candy machines, did you guys ever hear about... Is this a kind of like an urban legend? About the trick-or-treating with the candy, how people would stuff like razor blades and fucking candy bars and shit like that. I mean, you have to be one sick motherfucker to do that, by the way. I mean, you don't do that to kids. I mean, it's to kids, number one. But number two, who has the time to be stuffing razors into, like, candy bars? Don't you have, like, a better time to be more productive with your free time? I guess if you get off on that, then I guess that's your productive time. But still, it's rather disturbing. Alrighty, here is where we ran into some looters. Oh, there they are. Now, if I'm right, yeah, there we go. This guy has the brush hook. That's the weapon I want for my main character. It actually hits diagonally. Oh, spotted me. Spotted me. Run. Ah, oh, fucking motherfucker. All right, you motherfucker. We're going to play this game, are we? With your brush hook. Undamaged. Tough looter. Okay. There's no zombies in this map, if I am correct. But there are a lot of looters. So, actual people scare me a lot more than zombies. Does this guy have a shotgun on him? That's a fucking shotgun, dude! That's like a sawed-off shotgun. That guy could be really troubling. Okay. Um, so let's think of this carefully here. We might want to take these gunshots after all. Let's see, um, Joel, do you have a shot here? Undamaged. 70% chance to hit. Not exactly the greatest uh, percent chance here, my friend. So, instead... One, two, three, four... You would have one attack, but that's about it. I think we try it, right? Unfortunately, it's not Walter, so I can't really... Oh, but the party command only works on zombies. Never mind. So here we go. Okay, nice. We dazed him at the very least. That'll work. So now with Renee, can we get there and get an attack off? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could actually get an attack and actually move back afterward. So let's try it. Oh, come on, he's dazed, Renee. Move you over here. Oh, here comes Shotgun Man. That's terrifying as all hell. So we go one, two. We really have one shot at this. So make it count. Five and four. So if I moved over here, I'm going to be so close to Shotgun Man that it worries me. So I need to take the shot from the front. 
And again, party command does not work on humans, so <laughs> I try to just to to try it, but it doesn't work on them. So let's please land it. You did land it at the very least, which is fine. It's you know better than nothing. He's wounded. Let's have you drop back now. Okay, thankfully he missed. That brush hook would do a lot of damage otherwise. Now here's the thing we have to do. We have to kill this guy and then run back because then Shotgun Man's gonna kill us easily. So luckily we have Joel, Renee, and then Shotgun Man. So let's go in here and do... Oh, fucking dude. Come on, I needed that hit to land, my friend. You need to withdraw now? Withdraw. Sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. <laughs> you could have saved me a lot of grief right now. Alright, so one... Badly wounded. Two. Fuck. Could have really used the kill right there, Renee. Okay. No, 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 no. Is that shotgun's gun? Oh, he took the shotgun away. So now he's got a knife or a screwdriver. It looks like a screwdriver. So you know what? We might have lucked out. I was a little bit more terrified of the shotgun potential there. So here's what we do. We go one. This guy should be dead if I land his hit. Okay. Oh, shit, not enough turns. Okay. Move back over here. Oh, thank God he missed that. <laughs> that brush hook scares the hell out of me. All right, so one, two, three. And you can still get an attack off. So let's move you here. 70% chance to hit. Thank God you hit that. Go back. All right, Renee. Undamaged serious looter. I don't want to have Renee go up against this guy one-on-one. -on -one. So instead, let's move her over here, and then we'll kind of circle this dude next turn. And we will end our turn here. Wow, guy just shanked me with a screwdriver. Wait, 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 relax, fucking prisoner. This isn't fucking Oz. What are you, like some sort of like hardcore convict? I guess you might be if you're a looter, but... I guess he, he's not just a looter, he's a serious looter. Let's not forget that part. Alrighty, Joel. What are you going to have to do... Oh, it's actually... My turn right now. So this guy, remember, he's knocked down. He's bleeding out, too, so he is going to turn into a zombie. So we definitely need to get rid of this guy fast and get the fuck out of here because then we have to deal with the zombie afterward. Slightly wounded. Okay. Let's try this this way. Good. Good attack. Almost dead. That's what I like to see. Excuse me? Oh, that was from the bleeding. <laughs> I thought that we just got, like, a shot from somewhere. I was like, really? Where? Alrighty, you need to get healed soon, so I will heal you with Renee afterwards, but if we could get this kill right now, dude, it would be the best thing that could happen right now, so come on. Nice. Now end your turn, and Renee, let's have you heal Joel. Good, that'll do. And now, we need to loot these cars and then book it, because those guys will turn into zombies, so we got another medical kid, I love that. That I do love, and we... What the hell is this thing? Rising Sun Badge. A beautiful coppery badge representing a rising sun, the official insignia of the Australian Army. This version seems rather old, probably from World War II. You have no idea how it got here, but it gives you a little hope that humankind can survive even the most terrible of hardships. That's a new item. I've never run into that before in my beta run, so I'm not sure if there's some sort of um, extra effect on that. Okay. So here is something we need to realize. There's still a few more looters over on this side, if I'm right. But then these guys are going to turn into zombies. I think we deal with these zombies here and now. Okay, this is going to be so tough. I really want that brush hook as a thing. So here's what we do. Renee, let's go into single party situation. You come over here. And then Joel, you come over here. Alrighty. And we're going to have Renee finish this dude off. And that sounds really perverse. I apologize. Not that type of finishing off. This is in some sort of, like, you know, exotic massage parlor. Alrighty, so let's go into... Attack boat here. One less guy to worry about, and he's dead now. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to get. The brush hook, the... We actually have a helmet now, too. This is going to be at least one defense, which is, you know, it's alright for now. So let's grab everything over here, and we're fine. Now, he didn't turn into a zombie, which is, you know, a little bit confusing. I'm only bringing this up because on my... When I... Before I started playing the game and recording it, I took a little bit of a stroll by myself um, off camera to see if there was any changes that I needed to be aware of. And I'm going to tell you this much, like, does 
Cindy, you know Cindy from the um the burger bar diner? The moment I killed her, she turned into a zombie. So I'm not entirely sure why that's not happening with these guys. Maybe she was bitten already? I mean that could be a possibility. Still, it's a little bit weird. Let's move you over here. You come down over here, and then you'll take over this spot, and then Renee, you get this last kill over here if you can. So let's keep an eye on this. Like, I'm not sure if I guess they know one turned to zombie all the time. Is this a chance? I'm not entirely sure. I guess maybe Cindy was bit. I mean, that could be the case here. Ooh, shotgun. Nice. That dude had a shotgun loaded, by the way. Use it so do not to use it. We have a data item. Various fragments of data lifted from multiple sources. Hopefully piecing these together digitally can give you some answers. Or at least something amusing to read. Alrighty. Oh, can't carry that. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me right now. Joe, can you carry this shit? Oh, come on, dude. There's a shotgun here. There is a shotgun at risk here. Okay, thank God. You know what? We might have to kind of book it at this point. We, I think we have too much to... That we're carrying, and the problem is that over here there's a few more looters that we're going to have to kind of go through. And the police station has a lot of good items, so let's get out of here. We are completely packed to the... Oh, shit. Guys, party up. <laughs> My bad, I'm not trying to leave you behind, but you guys had a party up here. Alright. Let's just get out of here. I mean, you know, still, we tackled an area and a half in one day, so we can't be too upset about that. Map it up. Go back to the shelter. Alright, I think that's a pretty good time to call on episode 2. We're going to check out the shelter summary, or the day summary for all the items that we brought back. But afterwards, we're going to call it an episode, and we'll pick up from that point next episode onward. So we got the shelter return summary, we got undesirable food, 10. Four special items, we had 36 food, 2 fresh food, 2.5 gallons, luxury item 16, and 72 parts. And we also have two, uh, one data item. Alrighty, so we're going to call an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot, especially for a new series such as, um, well, I guess kind of a new series because I kind of played this before. But either way, I will catch you next time.